guys. Thanks for tuning in again. Today I'm interviewing Zen Thomas, who debuted his self-titled EP last year. Fun fact. I'm going to talk to Zen, Zen about everything about him because I haven't met him. So this is all going to be new to me as well as for you. So enjoy this episode of Behind the Burp. So I'm just going to start with, like, a icebreaker questions, you know? All good. Uh, favorite movie? Oh, that's so difficult. Uh, I'll have to say most Marvel movies. I can't pick one. You can't pick just like one? Like the Avengers or any of those ones or Iron Man. That uh, that genre. It's okay. too difficult. I can, I can go with the genre. <laughs> um, favorite TV show? Uh, Breaking Bad. Favorite book? Uh, 10,000 Hours. Favorite song? Ooh. I know. Favorite song. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite album is Continuum. Okay. I can say that. Okay. My most influential album, I guess, would be a better word, but Continuum, so yeah. Favorite song off that? <laughs> if I had to choose, uh, I Don't Trust Myself. Okay. I love that track. I like that track, too. Uh, favorite color? Blue. Favorite place in L.A.? Just in general. Uh, Santa Monica. Okay. People say that a lot. Yeah, I work there, so I'm oh, there all okay. the time. Where do you I love work? it. I'm a street performer. Oh, okay. Yeah, on the third street promenade oh, and all that okay. kind of stuff. Like Dylan, Dylan Dunlop. Yeah, well, that's where I met him. That's oh, where cool. We met, yeah. Really? That's cool. Uh, shout out. To <laughs> shout out to Dylan Dunlop. Uh, who, so, who influenced you as a child, musically? Musically? Well... When I was, like, really little, I was really into, like, Disney and all that stuff. <laughs> High School Musical was my jam when oh, I was a yeah. kid. But uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't really start to get into real music until I was uh, around 8th grade, freshman year. I got really into uh, 70s and 80s, like Led Zeppelin and Pink okay. Floyd and all that kind of stuff. And it more influenced me guitar-wise, not really writing or singing-wise. It just made me want to play guitar. And then as I grew up, like junior year, I found Continuum, and then I dove more into the blues sort of pop kind of style, and I started writing more and all that stuff. So that's really where I started. But before that, Disney, Disney. Han- Hannah Montana, loved it, loved it. That guy from. So has your sound evolved over time? So you said like pop and then blues. Oh, ab- absolutely. Um, like, when I first really got into writing, like I said, I got into John Mayer and, like, the blues sort of style and um, all those kinds of artists, uh, Jack Johnson and Mraz, mm-hmm. all those kind of people. I was really into that for a long time. And then I moved to L.A. when I was uh, 19, um, and I got really into this, like, soul, R&B, okay. pop kind of thing, and I'm, like, really into that now, like... Um, like Alan Stone, and uh, right now my favorite album is Bruno Mars, that the new Bruno Mars album. Oh, okay. Right now I'm like, <laughs> I, I love it so much. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so good, and all that kind of stuff. So that's really where I'm at now, just like having fun, like funky, and just a lot of uh, upbeat, positive vibes, all that okay. kind of stuff. I can get that from <laughs> your EP. Yeah, my uh, yeah my EP is uh, really old. That was when I was really into the acoustic okay. singer songwriter thing. Yeah, and, uh, I released that when I was. Uh, like, when I first moved here when I was 19, I released okay. it, like, six months later. And then I got into all that stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that was uh, that was me right before. So I'm trying to record a new one to get the new sound and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. Very cool. Um, But what's your favorite song off that EP from when you were 19? My EP? Uh, I'd have to say uh, Remember Me is my favorite, uh, track okay. three. And... Uh, it's just a really cool story, in my opinion. It's yeah. like about um, it's about like a relationship, like most songs. It's <laughs> like when uh when you break up and it's sad and you're just like the lyric is uh remember me until the next sunrise, which means tomorrow just forget it and like don't look back but don't regret it, sort of things like that. And so that's my favorite track. So what are you working on right now, the EP? Right now I'm working on um 
getting a live band to play live shows because right now I'm a solo act mm -hmm. and I just really want a band. So I, I'm pretty sure I found one and um, I'm trying to figure out how to record an EP right now. I haven't started yet, okay. but um, right now I'm just trying to figure out where or how or like budget and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm hoping it's to complicated. Yeah, it's really it's really hard, but I'm hoping to try and start and hopefully finish by a. Uh, by the summer, midsummer, have something new out there for everyone. A second EP, so nice. hopefully, hopefully like five songs or something. Yeah. That was my interview with Zen Thomas. Thank you, Zen, for being on Behind the Burke. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you. You're a really nice guy. Um, guys, he's gonna perform at my first ever showcase in Sherman Oaks from 8 to 10 at the Oaks Tavern. If you are in the area, please stop by. Um, ask me for further information. So, um, yeah, check that out. And also, Zen is having his first ever full band gig at the State Social House at 9.30. So if you're in that area as well, please check it out. Um, details will be in the sidebar of this video as well. Um, thanks guys.